Mary Peely Tapas Bar on Seattle's Capitol Hill is serving up a delicious taste of Spain. If you've never had tapas before, they're basically like a Spanish style snack that you usually get with a drink at the bar. Here to show us what it's all about is their chef, Grayson Corrales. Welcome to New Day. Hi, thanks for having me. Oh my goodness, so what are we cooking up today? Today we're gonna to be doing bacalhau a marinera. Um, it's based on a really traditional Galician dish. Uh, we do a pretty creative play on it um, with manchego gnocchi and snap peas instead of peas and potatoes. I love it. So what do we what do we do first? Grab the fish? Is that yeah, what? Yeah, we're gonna season this fish first. Okay. And what's in your seasoning, or is it a secret? Um, it's our house spice, so it's got a few different things. Um, you primarily paprika, onion powder, and garlic powder. I love it. And when did you guys all open up on Capitol Hill? We've been open. Um, almost two years now. We opened up in uh, June of 2022, I believe. Wow. And we need to turn up the heat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wait one second there. I love it. Get started on my gnocchi. Okay, and same thing, we're heating up the pan and then throwing the gnocchi in? Yep. Um, olive oil, gnocchi, uh, and what the, is gnocchi for someone that doesn't know what that is? This is, is actually a Parisian style gnocchi. So um, we do like a pate -a We cook butter, flour, water, and um, kind of like gelatinize the gluten in the flour. And then mm -hmm. we add some herbs, manchego cheese, and then uh, actually finish it when it's cooled with egg. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, it's delicious. Delicious. Okay, I see your pan sizzling now. Yep, we're, it's we're in business. <laughs> And what did you, you said that there's a family tie to the name and, and the restaurant, so speak on that. Yeah, so um, the restaurant is based on my grandmother because I grew up really close to her, um, both physically and emotionally. Um, oh. She was uh, the person who taught me how to cook and she also taught my dad how to cook, so pretty much all of the cooking culture in our family was kind of around the matriarch that my grandma was. So. Um, I would spend time at her house learning how to do things like paella and squid in its ink and um, just having that influence from her really inspired me to learn more about Spanish food. And so when I went to culinary school, I actually went to pastry school, um, I decided to kind of delve into that deeper. Um, I went to Spain and did an internship at a two Michelin star restaurant called Cudier de Pau which is actually in Galicia, um, wow. from the southern part of the region. And yeah, I just had the opportunity to learn a ton about Spanish cuisine and honor my grandma in that. And our restaurant is named after my aunt in memory of her for my grandmother. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. I love the family tie. Okay, things are, are working and <laughs> cooking. Yep. How can you tell, like, does this need a couple minutes on each, like, yeah, the cod, I do like to slow sear, so this isn't really the end of the world that our pans <laughs> weren't too hot. Um, it, we just kind of take it to like a nice golden color. Uh, we don't sear it too hard um, because the cod is just really tender and I don't want to compromise that. Mm -hmm. uh, we flip it over and then uh, depending on the size of the piece, sometimes we finish it in the oven and sometimes we finish it on the stove. And then this gnocchi, we just take it until it um, has a little bit of color as well. Um, and then add the peas and broth. Yeah, I love it. And what, yeah, what do you have all over here with the spices and? Yeah, so um, here we've got the cod broth that we're gonna be using. Um, just some butter and European style, and then you've got snap peas and pea shoots. And then I've got some of our um, dishes that you would see at the restaurant. I brought some of our more casual, um, classic stuff. Yeah, what's over there? That looks delicious. Yeah, we've got the jamón croquetas and then the patatas bravas and our fried olives. They have manchego, um, ibores, and sobresada in them. And then on the far side, we have our polvo yeah. afeira, which Ooh. is uh, octopus that we simmer for uh, about 90 minutes until uh, it's nice and tender. And then the potatoes are poached with olive oil and then we fry them and put an orange pickled onion and Spanish chili crisp on top. And that's a play on another really uh, traditional Galician dish that you would find like in every um, like really casual bar there um, or like sometimes even in the street, like on Sundays it's really traditional for um, there to be uh, 
polveiras uh, selling polvo in the street. So wow. Um, and then lastly, the paella. Yes, um, I feel like I, I know that that dish well. Delicious. Yeah, it's ours is um, inspired by a tajig, which is a Persian style of cooking rice. Um, so we make our paya rice in advance, and then uh, we see, like sear it essentially in a pan, and then uh, it gets nice and crispy on top, which is a play on the socarrat, which is the like crispy bits on the bottom of the pan. Yum. And then we finish it with our chorizo spice shrimp and our triple garlic aioli. Oh my gosh, that my mouth is watering. That smells absolutely delicious. Oh my goodness. Okay, and for someone that doesn't know about like tapas and how you guys are kind of a tapas bar, how would you describe the restaurant and what maybe tapas even are for someone? Yeah, so we definitely encourage sharing at our restaurant. Uh, okay, sharing is caring. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We want everyone to be able to try a little bit of everything. Um, so our restaurant started with these small plates and we just recently introduced a um, tapas experience. So it's like um, a lot of tapas that you would find in a bar, like they're either free or they're one euro. And so they're just like these really small bites. And the like legend is that tapas started as a top, like a tapa, to a beer or a wine in a bar to keep the flies out of your drink. So really, they're they're traditionally quite small. And then um, there's like pinchos is another word for the really small style tapas in the Basque region. Um, but essentially, we wanted to give an experience like that a little more sophisticated to our guests. So we just started a like tasting menu of these tapas. Oh my so gosh. You kind of have two options now for the experience that you want in our restaurant. And it's either um, you're sharing a lot of these like small, small plates, but that are our larger um, format. And then uh, we've got the tapas tasting, which includes uh, like a dozen different bites. And so you just get to kind of taste through a little bit of everything that we have to offer. Oh my gosh, well, we are running out of time, but you're gonna finish that because I'm eating that for lunch and I'm gonna taste test the final product as we leave. So thank you so much for spending time with us today. You can of course check out our website for more of our content and you can always send us an email to share your thoughts. So go out and enjoy your new day and we'll see you next time. Bon appetit.